what is going on guys welcome back for another video today we got something good we're gonna be installing some injectors in this here basin iron truck so uh we'll get after it uh i'll introduce trace to you he's uh one of my good friends so uh let's uh say hi trace hey guys how's it going what are you ready to do well we're gonna put some injectors and see if we can get this truck to start without needing help assistance yeah we're gonna turn her up we have some uh we have some injectors for for her today we're gonna be putting some uh 160 slash stock nozzle injectors in her so uh she her injectors are wore out so we're gonna be uh putting these in and making her making her have a little bit more horsepower so we're gonna get this all tore apart get these valve covers off get some injectors out so we've already went and put this uh 6673 uh cold air intake air filter from napa we built us a nice little elbow for it if you haven't done that to your truck you need to do that to your 7.3 already and a uh, piece of four inch pipe will let you build one of those real easy so right here trace he's put a new o-rings on these injectors um I had a guy rebuild these he is one of the top mechanics that I have ever met and he rebuilt he does all the machining on these and he's like a perfectionist and so I trust him to build injectors for me he's built injectors in both my trucks and so uh, I had him build the this set of 160 slash stock nozzle injectors and uh, Trace, he's going to be putting these Alliant Power O-rings on them. And uh, yeah, they'll be good. So uh, we'll get, we'll catch up to him when he's uh, put them on. And we'll show you how to install them. He's getting them all lined up right here. And uh, he'll, so that metal O-ring goes on first. He just works it down. And then he has his cup of oil right here. And then he slips that down. And it goes right against that metal clip O-ring. Seats it with his thumb sticks everything in the oil so everything is getting oiled really nice and that one goes right against that next one so you can see how that is right there and then he has that pink one pink one goes on next And then the orange one. And then the copper one. So there's a little hump on these. That one's divoted in right there, so we'll have to flip it over. Uh, if you, I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's a little hump. You want that hump to go up. So you want the divoted end to be against the injector. And then he takes his little socket that fits over that just perfect. Does a little tapping. Gets it to slide down on over it. You, you have to be careful with these because you can break that nozzle if you're not careful. But he's being careful with them so uh, we'll let him get all the other injectors finished and then we'll go from there all right let's start getting this truck tore apart first of all always unhook your batteries before you've done anything 
I've learned the hard way. I've went and started doing stuff on these trucks and you always, I always end up grounding out the freaking alternator and I've fried a few alternators. So I just go and unhook the ground on both batteries. I start with this ground on the driver side battery first. Then I do the passenger side battery. And then I unhook this air intake. And then you're pretty much good to go to just start undoing the valve covers. So here we go. So I always like to unhook the wiring harness right there. 10 millimeter socket will take that off. You gotta take this bracket off. And I like to just uh, pull this wiring harness up and uh, get it out of the way. And so it's not dropping dirt down into the valley. I mean, into your heads when you pull your valve covers off. You can use a, a 13 millimeter wrench to take that off because you want to leave this uh, this air breather. Take it off, there's O-rings underneath this that are a pain and you can't get them back on. You have to get new ones and then you have to wait for them to come in because no auto parts store around where you're from will probably have them. So yeah, just leave this on and get a 13 millimeter wrench and sockets and take all these off and that'll do it I like to use this impact little Milwaukee impact um, I get a six inch extension and then a three inch extension with a wobbly and then a short socket for the ones that just have the heads and then the ones that have these studs on them I uh, get a longer socket and though they zip right out a whole lot better than doing it with just a ratchet so what I like to do before I take these valve covers off is I like to get a vacuum and get all this junk all this dirt see all that dust I like to get a vacuum and vacuum that all up so that's not going into your engine so uh, right now I'm going and taking off all these wiring harnesses, this wiring harness. I use these long needle nose pliers to reach down there and pull the glow plug wire off. So uh, yeah, we'll get the wiring harness off and show you how to get these injectors out. So another thing I like to do is I'll go and take these oil spouts off before uh, I take the injectors out because these are pretty dang fragile and they're easy to break and we need to put them on the other new injectors so I'll get those out and get these uh, glow plugs out and then we'll I'll show you how to get the um, the injectors out so a five millimeter um, Allen wrench will uh, take those oil spouts off. So we'll get that done. So a uh, eight millimeter will uh, take those. An eight millimeter will take that bolt out, which is the hold down bolt for your injector. So. I actually like to uh, take all the injectors out and then I take the glow plugs out because it's just easier to do that. Um, so I'll get all these injectors pulled and I'll have a trace video of me pulling an injector. Alright, so. And these have to be torqued when you go back in. I'll show you what to torque them to and. So you want to pull 
this bolt all the way out. We'll get it out. And then, and then to pull it, you have to push this up. And then I get, I like to get a screwdriver. Let me get my screwdriver real quick. So you have to slide that up. And then I take a screwdriver and you just pry it up just like that. She comes out. You have to be a little bit forceful with them sometimes, but they come out. And uh, I'll show you what we have to do to get all that drained out of the cylinder. So. Another good housekeeping practice is uh, wiping everything down so you don't get dirt in your motor. And it's just never good to have dirt in your motor. Clean right all that really good. He's gonna wipe down these valve covers and then we'll show you what they look like when he's done. You having fun, Trace? Oh yeah. Good. Piles of fun. So when you pull something out, I like to sit and put it by the new injector you're gonna put it in. Just try to keep as things as organized as you can because I freaking hate losing stuff and it's pretty dang easy when you to lose some stuff when you're putting injectors in. So yeah, just another good housekeeping trick. So uh, a 10 millimeter long socket will reach in here and you can take your gold plugs out. So I got all the injectors out now, as you can see. And so I'm gonna pull all the gold plugs and we'll go from there so uh you want to always um replace your glow plugs if they haven't been replaced for a while this truck been having a cold start issue so we went and uh, i've already changed these glow plugs they're only a year old get zd 11s from uh motorcraft that's the only way to go for glow plugs and these are still brand new pretty much so we're gonna put them back in so one thing to do is always check your uh, injector cups make sure there's no cracks and uh, yeah and then wipe them down wipe down with get a good clean rag and wipe every single one of those injector holes down you you want to do that to make sure you get all the junk out of there so i'll do that and then i'll show you how to install the injectors so right now he's screwing that oil spout on and then i'll go along and uh i like to put them on on the outside of the truck and then once he has them all screwed on then we'll uh go and put them where they need to be and then tighten them up exactly where they need to be. Thread it in and then you adjust these just right. You hold them down like that and then uh, it's all right if they touch a little bit but try to get them to where there's a gap in there and just snug them up a little bit and then a little bit. You don't you don't want to go cranking on these because these can break so we'll get all these put on and then show you how to put the injectors in so right here he has his cup of oil getting it all lubed up try to get as much oil as you can in there so these just slip right in there and then that's good we'll come over here to the truck and uh I'll show you how to install them we have uh those ones done already so what you do make sure this copper washer is on there and that it doesn't fall off when you're putting it in there you be careful with these you slip them right down in there and you push on it 
and then you take this and you just and you hear did you hear that thump that little uh, thud I guess that means that the injector is fully inseated and so now we will take our socket and install this little retainer bolt that keeps so you want to be careful with this bolt not to drop it so I go like this and it should just thread right down in there and you want to do this finger tight you should be able to if you did that you should be able to get it all the way in there and get it as tight as you can and then you want to torque these bolts to 10 foot pounds so after I do this we'll get them torqued all right guys all right guys remember I can't stress being uh, clean enough with these injectors just keep everything organized and I uh, got all the old injectors out they're over there and we're going in with the new so uh, we'll get these in so from Riff Raff's uh, recommendations they say 10 foot pounds so I got my torque wrench an 8 millimeter again you just want to go nice and easy let let the torque wrench do its thing there we go that's 10 foot pounds so we'll do that to all the rest of the injectors okay so uh we got the driver's side done now we're gonna do the passenger side so we'll start to get all these bolts undone and uh get all these injectors out and put the new ones in i won't video it because we it's just the same as doing the driver's side so yeah so there's that box that goes right here two bolts two screws i mean right there and that'll come right off make it lots easier to get that back injector out and then uh, i like to remove the dipstick because i have broke the handle off the dipstick before on other trucks so and i don't want to do it on this one so I'll undo that I undid it and then I like to get this uh, boost line out of the way so I'll undo this boost line just to keep everything out of the way and make it lots nicer to work and it keeps stuff from being dropped down into the valley engine so guys we got all the injectors in and you leave the glow plugs out and then you go and uh, you install the valve covers back on and I just like to put one bolt on each side just to keep the valve covers in place so what we're gonna do now is we have to get all the oil out of the cylinders because you don't want to hydro lock your motor so what I do first is I come over here I uh, take a 15 16 socket and I spin the motor over and you can hear all that oil leaving the cylinders you just spin it as fast as you can on the alternator nut you can kind of hear all the oil leaving the cylinders You do that quite a few times till you feel like you got it good enough and then uh, what we'll do now is we're gonna 
put these battery uh, cables back on. And then we'll have Trace jump in it and he'll crank the motor over for us. Just give her a couple cranks. One more time. One more time. And, and that is how you make sure you get all the oil out of your cylinders. So uh, now we'll go and take these valve covers back off and install the glow plugs and the uh, valve cover harnesses and hook it all back up and then we'll be ready to fire and then once you get that done you need to make sure you take these batteries back off the battery cables back off i just slid the glow plugs down in there and then uh you don't like i don't like to put my socket all the way down onto these glow plugs because uh just the way the rocker arm and the push rod is where this glow plug is it's kind of hard it doesn't let my uh socket fit onto these glow plugs all the way so i just put my socket on far enough to thread it on get them all hand tight and then we'll come around and torque them So uh, once you get them all hand tight, take your torque wrench and uh, put your torque wrench on there. There we go. I like to give everything two clicks. Two. And that is how you torque glow plugs. All right, get your valve cover gasket wiring harness careful with it try not to get as much dirt as you can keep the dirt out and uh we'll go and hook all the injectors up and the glow plugs clip all these in real nice that little clip you want to go on the edge of here so it it clips in there real nice and then get my needle nose pliers i'm really careful i just squish the black stuff you don't hook on you don't grab the wire at all you there's black stuff that goes around the connector of the glow plug yeah you just be really careful with it and it'll need to get the wire on the right side of the on the right side of the injector wire don't pinch your wires you got to be careful not to pinch your wires That one I had to pull the clip back off. And then uh, try to get your wires, don't let your wires get underneath your valve cover at all because then it will pinch your wires also. And then then they'll short out of a, an injector and then you're in trouble, so. Then you take your valve cover, slip your valve cover on as careful as you can. And then take your bolts, just put your bolts back in. And I like to do them all finger tight first. And then uh, 
we'll hook up our wires after we do that and we'll go to there hi how are you guys so uh we got all the valve covers bolts done so uh we'll go i like to check and make sure none of these are uh burnt because sometimes they get burnt going uh and if you have dielectric grease you can put dielectric grease on these that helps them so we'll do that and then uh you gotta put the dipstick holder on and uh it's a 10 13 millimeter bolt that puts that on and then this little nut that goes around the clamp on the dipstick holder so uh we'll get that put on and we'll install this boost line back on and install the air intake and we'll start cranking her so uh when i like to go together with these clamps i like to put them to where they are super easy to to take on and off so this one i had to flop around so it's just right there and then you're able to just flop them in there real easy get your bolts for this intake we're putting a new uh, air filter on this thing 66 73 you can't go wrong with them I like to just get everything kind of rough mounted I guess right here because sometimes these boots don't like to line up right you have to rotate them a little bit right there is how I like it make sure it's slid onto the turbo all the way because uh, you want as much clamping force as you can because you don't want any dust getting in your motor see how right there it's real easy for me to get to and uh, we'll clamp her tight and then uh, take the old 10 millimeter she's golden boys golden pony boy oh yeah there we go snug them up tight call that good and then right here oh yeah there's the napa gold can't go wrong with it we'll pop this one off just like that garbage um where'd the razor blade go oh right here Oh yeah, so much nicer. That is a lot nicer. We'll go and put that on right there like that. This will only let you go have it in, let it go in so far. Try to get this even all the way around. Slips right on there. Like I said earlier, we built this elbow for it. Your man Trace Thacker, heck of a welder, welded it up. And uh, there we go. We'll hook the batteries up and give her some cranking. So uh, right here, so we're planning on doing an e-fuel system on this truck but till then we're gonna do the bb mod if you guys don't know about the bb mod you take this out right here this is uh your fuel spring that 
is on your truck. This is on your fuel filter, fuel pressure regulator. And then uh, you take your magnet. Yeah, pull everything out. So uh, I'll have Trace move the camera right here. So what you do is this was in there first. This is your fuel spring. This uh, controls how much pressure you get. That's how it is normally. But what we want to do is I got a BB and you go and you put that BB in there. And what this does is it cranks fuel pressure up a little bit. So then you could do the BB, then your spring, then you take your uh, plug, put it all in like that. You just be careful, put all that in first. Make sure you get it all lined up nice. There's a little nipple that that spring slides onto. That's how you do that. And that, it cranks it up to about 60 PSI when normally it's like 55. Mm -hmm. and these trucks run better at like 65 PSI. But like I said, we're putting in a, an e-fuel system in this truck a little in another video. So stay tuned for that video, but till then, this will help those injectors a lot. So uh, now we'll hook up the batteries and get to cranking. All right, these batteries, these seven threes, you want to make sure you have good batteries, especially when you're going. You want to make sure everything's uh nice and tight because uh if you don't have good connection uh you're not gonna have enough cranking power especially when you're putting brand new injectors in a truck you gotta crank it over for probably a good four five minutes to get all the air out of the system and to get oil in there and so uh and then one thing i like to do before we start it is I'll climb up here and check everything. Make sure I got everything back. I've uh, taken a inventory in my mind of everything that I've done. Uh, just make sure everything's tight. And uh, I think we're good to go. So uh, we'll start some cranking. All right, he's gonna start cranking her getting all prepared all right trace start giving her the onion You'll have that white smoke for a minute. That's just burning oil. Uh, we'll let her run and then we'll go take her for a test drive real quick. All right, we checked the oil in it. It's good. We've got to do a little bit more cranking again. And uh, we'll go for a test drive, then we'll come back and uh, we will change the oil in her. Show us what the old Ford's made of. Burn some rubber? We'll try. See, uh, see if we can burn some rubber. She's just an old farm truck. Old farm truck turned into an iron truck. She have a little bit more power? A little bit more in her. Oh, somebody like you is new injectors, huh? She's got a little something 
something now. We'll see when we get on the road. Oh yeah. How are these new injectors, Trace? She's got some more juice in it. And we haven't even put a hydro on it yet. Well, that's another plan for this truck, is we're gonna put a hydro tuner on it and uh, super up a little bit more, give her some more ponies. All right, we got back from our little test drive. That was good. We'll get the oil changed in this. You change the oil because you get diesel down inside your motor when you pull your injectors out. Diesel and oil mix, and then you don't want diesel in your oil. That's just not a good day. So we'll get the oil changed and, and finish her off. Trace is just gonna send it. Oh yeah. Well, we got the oil changed. Uh, well, he's gonna fire it up and we'll go for one more test drive. We're gonna have to crank it a little bit, a couple more times so it gets all the air out of the system. Eventually after our oil change. All right. We'll go for a test drive. It's crazy what a little injector work will do. And these are baby injectors and it freaking gets after it now. Big difference. You don't have to floor it everywhere you go anymore, huh? No. Well guys, there's another video for you on how to do injectors on these trucks. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, We'll see you guys on the next video. Remember, get out there and do this to your guys' trucks. It's fun. Uh, learn something. Work with your hands. It's a good time. I have my buddies. We're doing it with old Trace there. And so get your friends out there and build some trucks. Everybody loves a good truck driving down the road. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next video. She ain't much, but she's honest work. Uh, she runs a lot better now. We're gonna be throwing that hydro chip on her and uh, that'll help her even more. He's just wanting a little more extra power because they put a lot of iron on this truck and they have an iron business. So uh, if you guys are in Vernal, Utah, come and buy some iron from Basin Iron. Little Trace Hacker, he'll set you up good. Old farm truck.